Hey everyone, I want to talk to you today about taping your foot strap in sledge hockey. So when you first buy a brand new sled, you're probably going to get something arriving that looks similar to this. And at the end of the sled, you're going to have this, which is supposed to keep your feet up off the ice. And what I see a lot of players do when they begin is either they A, don't tape it at all, or B, they don't tape it tight enough to actually keep their heels off the ice. So when you're playing, these are just my skate boots, like we were showing in another video, is that if it's not far enough forward or tight enough, is that your heels will actually drag on the ice. And <clears throat> we just got like a plastic puck here, but your puck won't slide underneath of your heels. And in the best case scenario, not only are your feet gonna sit high enough that the puck can slide under your heels, but if your sled's balanced properly, this is called the skag. In most cases, this can sit high enough the puck will slide underneath as well. But for today, we're just gonna talk about the heels of your skate boots. So what you're gonna wanna do is, I've, uh, we'll show the finished product over here. I got my, my sled already dialed in. But the key to this is how far front and back you have it and how tight we make it. So for, for general terms, all you gotta focus on is, you know, approximately one to two inches back from the, from the front bar of the sled. So what you'll notice here is that the way that the strap just sits, it hangs really low as it is. So when I'm taping it, I'm gonna to wanna to tape it in a way that actually pulls the strap tighter, almost horizontal if I can get it that tight, because over time, the weight of your body and during play will continue to push this down. So I'll just tape it up right now. I'm going to wanna to go diagonally round diagonally around and then back. So get it started. And don't, I personally don't care if this like is messy at all. I just want it to be functional and working. So tape it up, tape it up a little bit there. All right, we got one side, kind of like pull it up a little bit. Yeah, so if I go from the bottom up, I can actually make sure that I'm pulling the foot strap upwards. There you go. So now, when you're finished, it's super tight. It has, over time, it has room that this will start to like release and turn down. But when you set your skate boots in now, they sit a lot higher. Now, truthfully, this is exaggerated, maybe a little bit too tight, where I wouldn't want to have my feet, you know, four inches above. But when I, when you play around with it, find something that works, I'll show you my sled. So when I actually sit in my bucket and it's centered and balanced, you notice that they sit higher and I can actually have enough room for the puck to go underneath at the same time. So it takes a little bit of time to play around with it, but find what works for you with your sled. Some people need extra ankle protection so they like them hanging lower, but then that just goes into finding modifications for the front of the sled. But the idea is to not let your strap hang down so low that your heels are dragging on the ice and you allow room for the puck to slide underneath. Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. It means the world to me if you could leave a comment below. Please tell me what we could do differently. Any ideas for a future video. We're all putting out content every single week here to educate people and let people know more about how to play the sport of sledge hockey. So please hit subscribe here on YouTube. And if you would like to learn more, visit playsledgehockey.com.